Today I'm going to do an unboxing slash installation video of some white pudding keycaps for the Ally Origins Core keyboard. Now, I grabbed a set of these keycaps as I wanted to upgrade and customise the standard keyboard. So if you're thinking about spicing up your standard keyboard, this is the video for you, as we're going to see just how big an improvement simply changing the keycaps can make. I picked up these keycaps from HyperX themselves and they sent me back £25 plus shipping. However, you can also pick them up from Amazon for around £25. On the box it says they're designed for a keyboard with US layout. If you do pick up a set, just make sure they have the correct layout for your particular keyboard. So looking at the box, we can see that these keycaps are the double shot PBT variety and they claim that these provide long lasting durability. The box states that they are compatible with HyperX mechanical keyboards, but as I said before, they will fit other keyboards just as long as they have the same stems. There's no more info inside the box, but on the back there's a picture of the key removal tool that comes with the keycaps. There's also a little description of the keys and it says they're designed for lustrous RGB lighting. The other thing stated in the box is a two year free warranty with the keycaps. So that's all the info in the box, time now to get these open and finally take a look at these keycaps. keys actually come vacuum packed, so that will keep them nice and clean and virus free. Maybe a HyperX knew something we didn't. Inside the box is a full set of keys for a full size keyboard. I'm not going to use all of them because I've got a TKL keyboard, but it's nice that HyperX include them in the box. First impressions are really good, the keys look really well finished and have a nice quality feel to them. The font looks really nice and clear and defined. The little key removal tool is made from a nice sturdy plastic, it's a nice touch that included this. You also got a handy key layout there so you know where to put the new keycaps. So now I want to remove the old keys and we're going to fit the new ones. The keycaps that come with the keyboard are just the standard ABS plastic variety. However, these replacement keycaps are the superior double shot PPT. So apart from the appearance, what is the actual difference between the two types of keycaps? Well, the standard ABS keycaps feel smooth to the touch and I've noticed that they tend to develop a greasy shine over time. They're also slightly thinner and lighter. The PPT keycaps on the hand have a nice textured feel to them. I definitely prefer the feel of the pudding keycaps to the cheaper standard ones. The pudding keycaps are also thicker, more durable, and you'll find that the characters don't wear off them, unlike the cheaper standard keycaps. Ok, so that's enough about the keycaps. Let's switch the RGB on and see what this keyboard looks like. So first time switching on the RGB, and we're going to say, these things are pretty damn impressive. They look amazing. The RGB is amazingly bright with these keycaps. It's such a difference from the standard keycaps. Basically it's like a whole different keyboard. I'm really impressed I am. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I've got to say, these things are amazing. Unfortunately I don't think the camera is really doing it justice. What we'll do now is I'll flick through a few different presets just to show you how these things look.
Okay, so now that you've seen how the keycaps look with a few different RGB presets, let me know if you like the new look or do you prefer the standard keycaps? Is the RGB just a bit too much now? Comment down below. For me personally, I love it. I don't think I can go back to the standard keycaps now. Just wish I could get these for my keyboard at work. So even though I love these keycaps, there are a couple of things I noticed about them which you might want to consider before you rush out to get a set. HyperX will put a logo right in the middle of the spacebar, so if you've got, say, a Razer keyboard, you might not like that. Another slight issue is that the shortcuts printed on the old keycaps, for example the multimedia functions to play, pause, etc, they're absent from the new keycaps, so bear that in mind if you need the shortcuts. Overall though, I think these keycaps are amazing, and they just finish off this great little keyboard. Also, remember that even though it's HyperX who make these keycaps, they're also compatible with other keyboards that use the Cherry MX key stems, so if you want, you can slap a set of these keycaps on a Razer keyboard for example. I've also found a slight difference typing with the keycaps. I think the keys now have a very slight heavier feel to them, which I think is a good thing. So overall then, I'm really happy and very impressed with the quality of the keycaps. And if you love RGB, you all love these keycaps because they really do boost the RGB effect on the keyboard. So that's it for this review of the HyperX white pudding keycaps. Feel free to leave a comment, and if you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button, and support the channel by subscribing. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links down below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.